Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And before we get in the video, here's a few reminders. Make sure you check the description below to get all the great news and latest on everything that I've used to talk about on my YouTube channel and what I currently talk about on my YouTube channel. Also, go click the channel below and subscribe to them. They are amazing and um, they are so close to 500 subscribers. Thank you and let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to Matthew chapter 21. Wow, crazy. So chapter 21 is remember one day our king will come back. So this is kind of talking about foreshadowing to the final few chapters of what Jesus did and stuff. So anyways, it talks about, so I think it's in this chapter, I may be wrong, where Jesus told his disciples, one of my disciples will betray me, but I need you guys to remember I will be back one day hinting his resurrection but then getting crucified again and then resurrecting when it's time for us believers to be saved and that time is kind of now so we are waiting right now in a time where we're waiting to hear and see jesus christ coming back to save us so yeah next point is jesus went to the temple to heal people in 21, I talked about not, in chapter 20, I talked about son of man cannot be saved, but can save people. Jesus Christ is the son of man, where what he's doing right now is going to the temple to save people. Jesus was also cleansing people slash himself from sin. Yes, Jesus was cleansing himself because he had a human body. Right now, he doesn't have to cleanse himself because he's not on earth in a human body figure. And I, it, it confuses me a little bit. Like, why did he have to do that if he was so pure and from God the Father? That's really hard, and I still haven't found answers for that. So, yeah. So, like, he was sent to do from the Father, God, down to earth, to be the Son of God, is to save people. And that's what he was doing. And the main act by saving is being crucified on the cross. And him being crucified on our cross saves us from sin so yeah here's something that kind of like is something that i did not put a lot but um who baptized john the baptist heaven or man from what i saw i'm pretty sure john the baptist was baptized from god somehow i could be wrong this is hard i need to have my bible with me but i don't but it's okay. And another thing that I said is you can use, lose your, you can lose your spot in heaven. So right now after, let's do another image. You get baptized. You are cleansed from all your old sins. Well, until you die or until Jesus comes back, you will continue to sin. If you don't repent of your sins, you can lose your spot in heaven, which is very powerful, which is kind of like scaring, but don't think of it as a scary way. Think of it as a way to motivate yourself to continue to repent of your sins. Excuse me. So after when I found that out, I'm like, okay, I need to spend a lot more time with God. I've been doing a lot more. I've been doing a lot more research. And I mentioned in chapter 19, that video that I'm going to be talking a lot about like self-reflectory and goal setting for 2023 so stay tuned till december where i talk about a little bit of my faith journey on how it went from me still learning to me doing to me exceeding and i cannot wait to share with you guys what i've learned this year and actually it's it's going to be a really great thing and i'm going to share about like one night at my church where everything changed where i feel like i was grabbed by god little spoilers but anyways so yeah that's what motivated me to continue in faith so i don't lose my spot 